In Ocala, Florida, for instance, the safe haven baby box is housed in the local fire station. Vincent, a man working at the station, was alerted by an alarm indicating that someone had utilized the safe haven box. Initially thinking it might be a false alarm, Vincent investigated and discovered a small baby girl wrapped in a pink blanket inside the box. She had a little bottle with her, and she was just chilling, Vincent recalled. I picked her up and held her. We locked eyes, and that was it. I've loved her ever since that moment. This heartwarming story illustrates the compassion and care that individuals like Vincent provide to vulnerable infants who are entrusted to the safe haven baby boxes. Little did Zoe and her parent know, her arrival couldn't have been more perfect. Vincent and his wife, Katie, had been attempting to conceive for over a decade without success. Zoe's unexpected arrival during Vincent's overnight shift seemed like fate had intervened, indicating that she was destined to become part of their family. However, the process for babies surrendered through the safe haven box requires them to be taken to the hospital first. Vincent wrote a heartfelt note explaining their desire to adopt Zoe and placed it inside her blanket before handing her over to the hospital staff. I explained that my wife and I had been trying for 10 years to have a baby. I told them we'd completed all of our classes in the state of Florida and were registered to adopt, he explained. All we needed was a child. When Vincent told Katie the news the next morning, she was overwhelmed with emotion. I was like, don't get too excited yet, Vincent recalled. His biggest fear was that the note he had written would be lost and Zoe would be taken away. The following days were incredibly stressful for them. However, just two days after Vincent found Zoe in the safe haven box, she was at home with her new parents, marking the beginning of their journey toward officially adopting her. Before finalizing anything, we knew that unexpected turns could happen, given our past experiences. So when the judge declared, you guys are a family, we exchanged glances and realized, we're a family. Wow, we're a family. Katie recounted, that was undoubtedly the best day of our lives. Although Zoe was initially brought home in January, the adoption process wasn't officially completed until April. Vincent and Katie deeply appreciate Zoe's birth mother, wherever she may be. We needed each other, Katie emphasized, and the way we were able to support each other was through that baby box. Their primary intention in sharing their story so openly is to eventually reach Zoe's birth mother, ensuring she knows her child is safe with a family who adores her. It's not about me. It's not about my wife. It's not about our journey to have kids. It's not about me being a first responder. It's about this beautiful little girl who was given the chance of life and that she's been adopted, she's loved and hopefully her birth mother sees it and recognizes that she did the right thing. Vincent elucidated. She doesn't have to worry anymore. Her daughter's taken care of and is loved beyond words. Monica Kelsey, the founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes, shared a similar sentiment at a press conference on the day Zoe was surrendered and found. We want to directly address the parents who legally surrendered this infant. And right now, I'm going to speak directly to her or him, she stated at the time. Thank you. Thank you for ensuring the safety of your child. Thank you for bringing your child to a place where you knew they would be taken care of. And thank you for doing what you believed was best. Facing a decision regarding whether one can provide for a newborn must be incredibly challenging. There are numerous factors that might lead someone to realize they're unable to care for a child, yet the guilt associated with abandonment can be overwhelming for many leading them to raise the child in an unfit, unstable environment instead. Fortunately for Zoe, her mother demonstrated the strength to do what was necessary, regardless of how difficult it may have been. They can now both move forward to live a better, healthier life because of her decision and the support that safe haven boxes provide to parents like her. Growing up in a household that lacks the capacity to properly care for a child can leave profound scars. Such trauma can persist into adulthood, making even simple daily tasks challenging.